It is right o'clock. Actually, it's considered a new career clock, but it's fine. On Monday, November 1st, AKA day one of NaNoWriMo 2021, and I am freaking ready to go. Actually, now I'm ready to go. I need to completely revise this scene, and I'm really excited because freak accidents occur sometimes. This is the first on-screen tricking death accident to happen, so... <laughs> okay, let's get started. Enough chatting, more writing. Okay, so it's now 7.40. Um, I didn't get quite as far as I wanted, but I needed to um, add some stuff into that previous scene. And actually, or I guess amend some stuff, I realized that I there's one more scene that I think would be nice to have earlier while they're traveling. Ooh, a glow. <laughs> it would be a really short, quick one. And I have like two options of where to put it that I think would be really nice both for character building, but also to hint at a little bit more of what we're gonna see. Cause I've been playing on what the people from the sticks have heard from the capital and the castle versus what the reality turns out to be. And so I want, you know, some of the stuff to be true and then also there to be this very dark side that they hadn't heard about. Um, so anyways, I need to go back and put a little bit more of the like story time around the campfire feel of this is what we've heard of the castle and the capital and this is what we're trying to go toward and all this stuff. So, hmm, where, where, which scene to put it in? Hmm. As we're basically almost to more coffee, I think it is time to, to follow the clock's advice and get some coffee. <laughs> Are you ready to be reunited with your sisters? I realize this scene is also taking me a bit longer because it's pulling like triple duty. Because basically we're about to find out the consequences of naming, an additional consequence of naming, which is of course important for the literally like, you know, end of this scene where we actually get to see death being tricked and no one being taken after killing someone. And so I think it really just sets up a really nice juxtaposition. So anyways, basically, again, this scene is pulling like quadruple duty. <laughs> and so it's taking a little bit longer, but I think it's gonna be so good when it does. And it's so needed where it's at. Again, I'm gonna have to reread um, to see if the beginning is okay. Cause right now I'm at about 25,000 words and we, we need this moment, but do we need this moment sooner? That's what I'm debating. <laughs> that debate is for a future Kate, a like day 29 of Nano Kate. <laughs> for now, coffee, water, let's do this. All right. I'm only halfway through this scene, but I really want to update the NaNoWriMo website. So I have 811 words and let us do the thing. Eight, 11. Ah! How did you feel about writing it? Fucking awesome. At home, on my laptop. Oh, no, it's okay. Update progress. <gasps> I got badges. Oh, and a sign me out. God. <laughs> Okay, I got badges, <laughs> it's fine. Yay! First day update. Update, you're writing progress. Hooray! <laughs> like they're having a meeting.
when is too early to bribe myself with leftover Halloween candy? Like the afternoon, maybe? <laughs> Good job. Been watching the nonsense from before. Hi. <coughs> I am done with the scene. 1,912 words. One of the longer scenes. Also, I was Googling Ospreys because that was important. <laughs> Let us attempt this again and update total words. One, nine, one, two. Update progress. Oh, I got another badge. Update more than once in a day. Oh, I got two badges. I did it. <laughs> New folder, chapter 11. Oh, not 112, I have new text. And I am ready to go, except I need a little bit more water and to drain the rest of this coffee. So basically, I have a few more scenes from draft two that I'm going to be able to copy and paste over and just work from those scenes because my outline didn't change substantially. I think I have maybe three or four before we get to the introduction of the prince character where there needs to be substantial changes going forward. I did do a complete re-outline before NaNoWriMo started, so I'm really excited because this is actually the scene where we get to really learn what the house is about. We saw them a couple scenes ago, uh, but you know, two of you just kind of suspected that something was up with it. And now we get confirmation that something's up with it. <laughs> this is where she'll also get to officially be an apprentice to the armorer, but like, excuse you. So anyways, basically I think these first couple days in NaNoWriMo will be easier, but of course November is crazy for me because I'm gonna be gone for like, I don't know, collectively half the month. <laughs> so I really want to crush this part where I have draft two that I can copy and paste over. Um, <sighs> anyways, I guess that means I should not be wasting any more time and I should get to it. So Breakfast of Champions acquired. Story, ready to rent. Is she in your bowl? <laughs> you know, I'm finding that as I'm editing and revising the scenes, it's actually the beginning that gives me the most trouble based off of what I revised in the previous scene, but then the rest of it can kind of sort of flow with minimal-ish, with less changes until I get to the end again, so it's kind of yeah, it's just interesting, but what I want now is to do a pop-up Twitch stream. Don't mind the amount of stuff I have in my background. I have it for uh, videos. Let's go ahead and edit this as it is, in fact, NaNoWriMo now. Heck yes. I sent them over to Vixen of Fiction. Oop. I need to get some food though, but look at this. 
Look at how beautiful that is! Ah! <laughs> Almost 5,000 on the first day. I feel like I'm crushing it. Do you feel like I'm crushing it? Do you feel like I'm crushing it? Do you feel like I'm crushing it? <laughs> All right, and that is it for this writing vlog. I am going to continue writing for the day, but I wanted to see how much I could get done without vlogging it, especially because I still have to pack for my trip. We're leaving on Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm planning on hosting another stream later tonight, which I will link in a pinned comment down below. But man, oh man, what a wonderful start to NaNoWriMo. I'm still really hopeful that I'll be able to hit 50K this month, even though, again, I'll be gone for half of the month. It feels so nice to be making this story better. <laughs> Even the scenes, like I had one scene today that was only like 200, 300 words and there weren't any big changes that I made, but even those small little changes made it so much better and made it flow so much better and like I feel like captivated you more or so I hope. Whereas other chapters required, you know, entirely new scenes, but that's just gonna be the way it is for the rest of this story. And I'm really just, I'm so excited. There's something about NaNoWriMo, I swear. <laughs> there is just this magic to it. Even if you're not participating, like some of the people in the stream weren't participating for NaNoWriMo, it's like, you feel that swell of creativity that's just all around and it's it's wonderful. It is going to be a fun challenge for me to see how much writing I can get done while in the airport or on the plane <laughs> for this first week of NaNoWriMo. So I will be doing weekly NaNoWriMo vlogs instead of daily. I am still going to try and update the NaNoWriMo website daily even though it continues to try to kick me out. But I always think it's so fun to get to revisit this time of year um, through old vlogs too. So yeah, I wanna make sure that I can get the weekly vlogs even if they're uh, they're kind of hectic and kind of crazy and kind of less about NaNoWriMo. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for me. Please do comment down below and let me know what the weirdest thing you Googled for your stories today. So like I Googled the Ospreys, I was Googling like desert birds, but I settled on the Osprey. And honestly, like, you know, desert birds is not even that weird of a Google search. I bet there are tons of people who Googled weirder things and I wanna know what they are. Also, if you have a favorite line that you wrote today, please do comment that down below as well. I shared my favorite one that I wrote over on my Instagram and I'm really excited to try and keep track of that again this year. And finally, please do let me know how this first day of NaNoWriMo went for you. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm hoping to see some of y'all in the Twitch stream this evening. And otherwise, yeah, I'll see y'all all next time with a new video. Bye!